I have always liked the ability that to train animals to communicate with them a certain way. Even when I was three years old, my parents know it's like me playing with dogs in the house and trying to communicate with them. From that point on, I knew I wanted to be a dog trainer. Hi, my name is Augusto de Oliveira. I'm a dog trainer and I have been training dogs for 14 years. It's a matter of really understanding the dog um, and having the dog be able to understand you. You know, when I meet a dog, the first thing is evaluate them, see what works with for that particular dog, and then go from there. I mean, that behavior will set into a habit where this dog is going to repeat that same behavior uh, either by association or just by you know being bored and having nothing else to do. Augusta is pretty legendary around here. Well, I was outside with the dogs and he came outside. He was trying to teach me how to keep the dogs away from the gate, like when you're opening it, so they won't crowd around it. All dogs should be giving you enough space. Like if they're right here, let's touch. A few minutes ago, I was trying to keep the dogs away. I'd done what he had showed me and taught me with these dogs behind me. You should be able to open the gate. Doesn't mean that they should go through. See, if they try, you're gonna go back. Claim space. Walk in and out. Yeah, they responded pretty quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Blue, come. Come. Good. Sit. Yes. Down. My job as a trainer goes a lot beyond what most people think of a dog trainer. Uh, I go to people's houses and I help them when you know they, ha they, ha they have situations that um, they just felt helpless, whether it's you know, dogs that were fighting or dogs that were um, not ha getting along with certain members of the family. I'm to correct him, I'm actually teaching him that out in public you should not jump on people. It doesn't matter. A dog is part of your family, so if something goes wrong and you don't know how to correct that dog, um, it, uh, you know, it's, it's devastating. When I first picked him up, I thought it was going to be simple. But then, like, the terrible two stage came along, and it's like, oh my gosh, what is going on? What happened overnight that made you act this way? He's helping me with training, because him jumping up. Boy, every time he jumps, do a little pinch right there. Augusto is probably like the best thing ever because anytime I have an issue with me, I can message him. I can ask him something about his he shots, jumps, what is about this no. fur. See how he's thinking. He's, he's not really jumping at me, but he's kind of jumped up. I still correct that so he knows not to jump at all. It's just anything that I need from yes, him, he always gets back right, right with me. So that's one thing I love about him. Oh. Yes, good boy. What a good boy. You're not going to jump? You're not going to jump. Good boy. I currently own 20 German Shepherds. I am licensed to have up to 50 German Shepherds on my property. Some of the most important rules uh, at my house with all the dogs um, is no barking. Unless someone knocks at the door, they bark. Um, there's no playing in the house. They have 10 acres to run around. The moment they come in, they're not allowed to play with each other. Carolina, get up there for a picture. It can just cause them to break things. It can just cause them to become very chaotic in the house, especially when they have a large number of dogs. It's their resting time, and they know it. They, again, they learned by association that the house is a place for them to chill and relax and cool off, and not a place for them to get rough housing. To the people that think that you need shot collars to train your dogs to do what I do with my dogs, they need to ask the hundreds of clients that I have trained I have never had to use a shot collar to train my dog. Because I actually believe that my method 
that I use to train them is a lot more effective than a shot collar and, and a lot safer. On average, um, it takes me about one month of one, one hour a day training for a dog that is not a puppy that has had no training. It's like going for a one hour walk on the leash and practicing with them, they're able to go off leash after that point. What I'm talking about here is not having your dog off leash in the field, it's not having your dog just off leash you know, in your yard or anything like that. It's actually being able to have your dog off leash around a lot of different distractions, all the dogs, people, traffic, and the dog knows to stay next to you. Only when I'm ready. Wait. Ah, ah, ah. I want all the dogs to be paying attention to me. When a dog, get, and there's a lot of distractions going on, I will use my, my hands to just keep them interested in me. Make different sounds. Hey! Psh, psh. Anything to make sure that the dogs are focused on me. They should be able to tolerate a lot of different uh, distractions around them. Jake. Ah! Good boy. Down. I'm licensed. Um, I do everything, you know, correctly, so I have nothing to worry about. Um, I have trained dozens of dogs that would otherwise have been put down. Some, sometimes people bring a dog to me for training that was on the way to the vet to be put down for behavior issues. And to be able to turn those dogs around and just see the, the hope in the owner's face and just the, the joy of of knowing that they do not have to put the dog down because they found a solution is very rewarding to me.